crispy skin cod with yuzu butter. It is delicious. And it actually sounds quite restauranty, but there's actually minimal ingredients for maximum results. So this is gorgeous blue eye cod. I've brought it out of the fridge about 30 minutes ago because I don't want it to be too cold as it hits the hot pan. Speaking of hot pan, let's get the pan on. And I don't want to start cooking in the pan until my thermo signal is solid red. That's the optimum temperature for a lovely sizzle. So for the fish, when you take it home, give it a really good pat dry with some paper toweling. I want crispy skin for this and moisture is the enemy. So pat it dry on all sides. And you can see the cod's quite thick, so I'm not only going to cook it in the pan, but I'll also finish it off in the oven for a lovely, even cook. So on with some extra virgin olive oil. A light drizzle of oil. I don't need too much on this fish. One, I don't want it to be swimming in olive oil. I'm going to be doing that later with the butter. And also, I've got a gorgeous non-stick pan here, so it really doesn't need that much oil. So just a light film of that. We'll turn it over and make sure there's oil on each side. and a good pinch of salt on the skin. We'll get that in the pan, skin side down, and just press down on it. This is a 30 centimetre pan, so I can fit very easily four pieces of fish in here. Just line them up. I haven't seasoned this side, so another pinch of salt. And I won't add any pepper at this stage, I'll add that at the end with the sauce. Now, while we're getting some colour on the skin, let's prepare a few other ingredients. So, some French shallots. You know I love my French shallots. I just love the sweetness of them and how fast they cook down. So, for this recipe, two, and I'm just going to finely slice them. I want a slight amount of texture in the sauce. Now, this sauce is sort of loosely based on a beurre blanc, which is a combination of wine shallots and then butter at the end. But instead of doing it in a separate pan, I want to do it all in the one pan. So we're going to cook the fish first and then finish the sauce off in the pan, just so we retain all of the flavour from the fish. Let's check on the fish and turn them over. Ooh, that's what we're after. See that? It's blistered and it's crispy. Fantastic. So now we can start adding the liquid and finishing it off in the oven because you can see it's so meaty and so thick. So in with the shallots, just in and around the pan. And when you add the wine, turn the heat off first and we'll pour it around our fish. And you don't want it to touch the skin because we want that skin to stay quite crispy. OK, this goes into the oven. It doesn't need long, about three to four minutes. All right, this gorgeous cod is cooked. It smells so good with that white wine. We're going to remove the fish from the pan. And this is why I always love to tell people when you're investing in pans, get a pan that not only can go on your stovetop induction, but also in the oven. So you can do dishes like this. So you see all this gorgeous juice here. That is gonna be the base of a glossy butter sauce. Heat back on and always keep a tea towel on the handle because it's going to be piping hot. So the butter needs to be really cold. And now this technique of adding cold butter and whisking it in is called monte au beurre, which means adding little bits of butter, slowly whisking in until they dissolve, until you've got a glossy, velvety sauce. And because of the durable coating on this pan, I can actually use metal utensils just like this metal whisk. Great does this sauce look velvety, glossy, thick, and there's no flour in that. That is just the butter that has slowly been incorporated and thickened this up. So now some salt, so a good pinch of salt. And I'll add a small amount of the yuzu juice. Yuzu is a Japanese citrus. I love the smell of it, I love the flavour of it, and it's quite pungent, so you don't need much. It's a cross between a lemon, a grapefruit, and a mandarin. If you think of all of those together, you get a wonderful citrus flavour, and it goes so well with this butter sauce 
and our crispy fish. So we'll mix that in and that sauce is done. Okay, before we plate up, I just want to finely chop some herbs, a combination of soft herbs here, some tarragon and some parsley and beautiful little chives. We'll just chop that and run your knife through it a few times. It's just very French with a little Japanese inspiration going on. Okay, big spoon, a generous amount of sauce. I love this sauce, a real classic. I'll place a piece of cod into that sauce. Looks good, doesn't it? And some herbs over the top and around. And now I'm really showing off a little salmon roe. Love that pop of fishy saltiness on the top. Like my dad Colin would say, you'd pay good money for that in a restaurant.